Like rabid dogs, my parents and sister had named a salary and offered living arrangements before I sobered. And in just three days, I managed to throw a blowout going away party for my unemployed work friends, and my family had moved me from my D.C. apartment back home to Alexandria. I really appreciate this, Daisy, Rachel said. I sipped the coffee, remembering Rachel brewed it too bitter for my taste. Hey, family helps out family, and we'll find you someone who can help on a more permanent basis soon. Right. I pushed through mental cobwebs and searched for Dad's old schedule. We had almost four hours before the bakery opened. So, we mix the bread dough first? Rachel smiled. Just like in the days Dad ran the business, Henri has mixed the dough and then we help him shape the remaining loaves and rolls. Bagels next, and cakes after that, so they can cool while we bake the cookies. Great. I gulped more coffee. Let me pee, and I'll be right down. Sure. Rachel nodded, but didn't leave. It really will be nice working with you. Should be great. Still, Rachel hesitated, which triggered an awkward need in me to fill the silence. Are Mom and Dad going to help this morning? No. They want us to go it alone. Dad's not been feeling great. She sipped her coffee and frowned. And you know Mom never worries when you are around. Mom worries about everyone. But she worries less when you're here. You're the rock. Maybe Mom also knows today won't be easy for me, and she's avoiding my moodiness. You? Moody? The unexpected sarcasm made us both laugh. But when the laughter trickled away, the darkness regained footing. Rachel sensed the shift in me, just as Mom always did. And like Mom, Rachel got that wounded look in her eyes. It hurt Rachel, and especially Mom, when I cringed if they hugged too tight or kissed my cheek. I've long wanted us to be closer but I'd come to believe that I don't know how to really love. I care about people, worry about their welfare, but an invisible barrier has always kept me separate from the world. Despite the distance, or perhaps because of it, I became fixer of all things McRae. Need a picture hung, a ride, or furniture moved? Call Daisy. Need a little money? Call Daisy. A babysitter? Yep. Daisy is your go-to gal. A glance up at Rachel told me she wasn't going anywhere despite bruised feelings. I can pee by myself, Rachel. <laughs>